Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 12, Episode 4, Ball Ball. <laughs> Not the ball ball? The ball ball ball? The ball ball ball? The ball 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 Because there were so many looks. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Second things second, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month or more gets you early access. $10 a month gets you access to our viewing parties. We've been doing them all season. We've been doing multiple screens, so it's kind of fun and silly. Yes. Um, the gang's all here. We're recording at a safe distance. Yes, exactly. Much like last week, we are still separated and and distancing in isolation. Um, but thanks to the magic of green screens and the internet, we are here right before you on our set, just I like mean, always. Could you tell? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, could you tell? Ooh, I will say, look, my wine glass doesn't disappear with the green screen. Mine definitely does, so. Love We're it. working on it. We're working on it. Hopefully the sound is better. My hopefully. mic is hopefully closer to myself. I've tried. So, yes. Episode four, the ball ball. Way too early for a ball. I mean, 36 looks. They're literally trying to murder us. I mean, come on. It's not even close to midnight. Why are we having a ball? Oh, my God. <laughs> jellico ball. Jellico cats. Jellico, 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 ball. Now, how come there hasn't been a Jellicle ball? Ball. Well, they did have the cat ball. Well, was it a ball? I mean, All Stars season, ugh, whichever. So that was just a cat runway. Right, yes. But then they had the dog ball. The bitch ball. The bitch ball. Of dogs, yes. Yes. Now they need the Jellicle ball. <laughs> I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, it'd be wacky. <laughs> right? But yes, so the episode starts and Dahlia has gone home. And, yes. you know, she left a message that said things. Oh, I do not remember. But Nikki is like, I got a fire under my ass. I'm going to take all these bitches down. If I can beat Dahlia, I can beat all of them. And I was like, well, I don't know if that's true. I was like, I don't think that tells us really much of anything, but okay. <laughs> you barely won the lip sync, but yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. I'm glad that she's, you know, got a fire under her tush and she's ready to go. Or under yeah. her derriere. Right. Yes. So be ready for the French bitch because she's coming for you. Is that prêt? Get used to disappointment. And I love that Crystal Method was like, oh, I thought I did really light makeup for this Squirrel Scout. <laughs> what the hell? That's light makeup for you? I don't even do that face on New Year's Eve. Light makeup? What? Girl, I don't even do that for New Year's. <laughs> it really made me laugh. <laughs> me too. Well, I like that they were all like, oh, Nikki, I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you're fun. <laughs> you're right. She is. Well, it's interesting that like multiple people have said, oh, they're not seeing the fun side of her. If they could only see you through my eyes. Through you know? my eyes. But if they could see us through my eyes, maybe they'd all understand. People or the judges are saying that? The queens, I feel like, were saying that Nikki's personality wasn't coming through to the judges. Yes. She, oh, she's so much more fun backstage with us. Yes. And by people, I think it might have just been Jan. Okay, great. Just Jan. Just Jan. I'm loving her. I'm I'm kind of nervous. It seems like they're like Monique Harding her. Sure. She's not that great. She's not the best. She's not infectious. We don't love her. She's it's, just fine. And I'm like, what? What? It's so weird. And I'm just like, but she's clearly doing the best. Yes. Or some of the best. Like she's clearly top three agreed so we'll see i feel like we're we gotta buckle up for some shenanigans 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 so then there was some choices i guess would be the best way to say it of just like this b dance flight of the bumble queens i don't know the bumble queens i like that yeah the mini challenge was get into quick drag i mean i was like quick drag i was like for sure like a mess, and they have to get into quick B drag and dance around. Yes, it's it's the dance mini challenge that I never really love. Sometimes it's fun, but Sometimes yeah. Sometimes it's fun. It's always kind of a mess. This one to me was just a disaster. I did love that Aiden Zane looked like the little B girl from the Blind Melon music video. I was into it. 
I'll put up the side by side screen. Great, love it. Oh my God, you're so right. Exactly that. Yeah. Oh my God, right? <laughs> and I loved Heidi with her bee leave on her pants. Oh my God, very silly. Very silly. Well, they were having fun, which was good. I mean, Rue seemed to be having a lot of fun. Yeah, she had a lot of puns that they had written for her that were fun. Exactly. You know, she shook her tush and it was like yeah. stupid fun. It was yes, like, it was. I did love that they did a, I guess, a big Frida remix of honey, 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 honey. honey. Oh, instead of freaky money, 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 money. Yeah. Right? Was, and this was weird too, where they're just kind of like, well, colony collapse disorder is going to be our subject du jour. Yeah, it was like, oh, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> now embarrass yourselves. <laughs> it was like, oh. Cause freaky honey, get the honey. Cause freaky, Why are you killing me? Honey. Well, it was cool at the end. They said you could go to the honeybee conservatory or conservancy not conservatory <laughs> website and like there's six easy things you can do to like help the honeybees and I was like that's awesome yeah so, like you know go help the honeybees yeah a lot of people seem to fall like it hurt oh my god when was it Britta I think it was Britta just fell it fell like an old woman on her hip I was like oh my god to help she can't get up what's happening <laughs> she was needs a life alert it was very serious. I was concerned. Gigi did that backflip, which was cool, but then it seemed like had nothing else to do. Right. But she won. Gigi wins uh, money. Yep. And then Rue announces that the main... Or oh, yeah, the what if it was honey? Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, what? <laughs> what if it was honey? If you won honey? Yeah. Love it. So random and weird. What if she was a vegan? Well, a lot of vegans I know... Draw, don't draw the line at honey. Oh, okay. So for the maxi challenge, we find out that they're going to do a ball. And yep. the first category is Lady Ballers, Title IX realness. Okay, you're going to have to explain this to me. What does that mean? Title IX is what provides uh, women's athletics to get equal funding in public schools or in schools. As I love it. Yes. So oh, it's basically fabulous. just like women's athletics. I was confused. I went to like chapter 11. Like I thought it was some kind of tax bankruptcy no no issue something i was confused and then the second category is basketball wife he yeah. owns everything yeah and the third category is ball to the wall extravaganza yes which they had to make for themselves in the workroom yes they gave them all kinds of balls i mean people said made so many ball jokes and giggled and every time of my balls and the balls <laughs> Ball balls, basketball, some football, some hanging balls, some high balls, some low balls. Jan's got a plan. Play balls. I'm just ready to play with the balls. Balls, 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 balls. <laughs> so quick commercial break and we will be back with the whole episode, really. All of all of all of it's to come. <sighs> so we're in the workroom and all the queens are, you know, asked by the producers. Obviously. Completely on her own, without being prompted by a producer, obviously. To talk about, you know, what sports means to them or whatever. And this right. was interesting, like, Jan's talking about how he played sports as a kid, and, you know, in a Catholic school, that was really tough. Because I played sports, I think that people kind of gave me a little bit of a pass, because they thought, oh, well, he's really athletic, so he can't be that gay. And I'm like, mm -hmm, sure. Well, it was funny, I think I might have said this in the viewing party, but I was just waiting for him to be, he was like, oh, well, they all thought, oh, he could play sports, so he can't be gay, but little did they know. And I was like, I love sucking dick, but that's not what he said. It was like, oh, little did they know that, like, I was a big old mo, I love Broadway or something. And I was like, oh. I guess that's more PG-13, but yes. He said something about like, you well, can't be that gay. And then he was like, wrong. <laughs> wrong. Oh my God. It was, he did not bust out Liza Minnelli and Liza with a Z, but you know, sure. Sure. Oh, I was going for more of a Paul Lind situation. Mm. Wrong. But the way that you keep saying it really just sounds like Liza. Okay, well then I don't know. We'll play the clip and you guys can tell us. Wrong. Okay, I mean, you know, Liza, Paul, and I mean, you know, there's a pretty big Venn diagram in there. Yeah, that is a, yeah. I loved when Jackie was like cutting up the soccer ball and she was like, oh, Jan, is this like hurting your little soccer heart? No, because it's just like the patriarchy. Um, oh, yes, tear it down, rebuild it. And then Rockham putting together this like cosplay duct taped oh um, mannequin suit thing. It's good. Everyone's like, bitch. What's happening here? What's going on? What's this? What's happening? What's going on? What's this? What's happening? What's going on? Everyone's, you know, duct taping her around. And then they were like, oh, they're all talking about like, oh, well, how are we going to get 
high fashion balls like across to the judges or whatever and rock them just being like just yell it's high fashion just walk down the runway and you scream high fashion at the top of your lung <laughs> This is high fashion. Oh, yeah. But as much as I complained about the ball, I did really love seeing them all like get creative, be in the workroom, just like yes. be fun with themselves and each other. I and just think it could have been an unconventional challenge material. Like, an... <laughs> I like that a lot. An unconventional materials challenge. <laughs> it's like you bring your your basketball player or the different sport that we gave you, and then because right. like they clearly had to, everyone was assigned a sport, right? Or got to pick from a list, but no one was allowed to overlap. Or it really just worked out, kimonos, kimonos, kimonos. I did love when Jada was just like, usually I'm not one to be chasing white balls around, but. <laughs> More white balls somewhere. Normally, I'm not the type to be running around playing with white balls, but for this look, I'm gonna have to get my hands on as many white balls as I can. I like her a lot. <laughs> I do too. I, I mean, I'm, so far I'm really enjoying the cast and there's not anyone that I'm like, oh, you need to go. There's no one that I'm like, I dislike you actively, please leave. No. No. Oh, oh. my God. I'm sorry, I'm Fred, sorry. Fred, uh, Fred, uh. I mean, obviously, the elephant in the room, Sherry. Sure. She's no longer a contestant, so we're not talking about her. Also, she's not really in the editing. It's like, oh, and then she showed up on the runway or in the challenge, and then no one else ever heard or saw her ever again. Oh, and then her shoulder was in the background of that shot. <laughs> it's a lot of that. Obviously, Aiden's was the most egregious, but there was a lot of just, I'm gluing these balls to a corset. Yes. I mean, to be fair, like, Nikki also glued balls to a corset. She just styled it in a way that was much more conceptual, stylish. Um, I mean, it was more interesting. It was more intricate. It had more yes. of, like, a shape. It had more of an idea. I'm still, like, we'll get into it. I'm still confused kind of why she was in the top, I'll be honest. In the top, sure. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad. We'll talk, we'll get into it. We'll talk about okay, it. Okay, we'll get that. And then I did love this conversation between Jan and Aiden. It was just like, oh, well, it's simple, but, you know, I guess you got that, like, referee thing going on. <laughs> oh, you're right. It what do you mean like a referee? A ref oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> you didn't know you were doing a referee? Insane. I love Jan was just like, oh my God. Also like here, this is idea. Like here's a whistle. You're welcome. Wow. I mean. Come on. This is like referee. It fits perfectly with the sports theme. I think that I is I didn't so even great. think of that, yeah. Girl, what? Oh boy. This is where I just started to see the things of like, ooh, Eden, I don't know how long you're gonna be with us. <laughs> I still like her, but yes, we'll, we'll see. I just, there's things where like, even like she posted on Instagram, it was like, oh, I redid this look. And I'm like, it's not really much different. In fact, now it's more confusing. She was like, oh yeah, it's my redemption version of it. But then she added like puppy dog ears. And a choker with a dog tag. So, so it was like Dalmatians, but Dalmatians don't have stripes. <sighs> I have I, some, I have some thoughts about what could have improved this look. We'll get to it. Okay, great. Love it. Can't wait to hear them. Well, so yes, then they all work on their looks all day and then they go home and it's the next morning. And I love that when Rockham walked in and she like fake got all mad and then like threw down a, and I just heard, I heard the pottery smash. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so quick commercial break and we will be back with more green screen. Whoa. Mine is, mine's much improved. Well, you know, I'm trying my best. You know that I'm cursed and that technology hates me. Those are just facts. It, it's true. Facts are facts, America. We have found the witch. Might we burn? Huh? Burn! 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 <laughs> so, Rue walks down the runway. I don't know why I was about to say Rue runs down the runway. <laughs> Man, well, it's sports. It's, it's sports ball. <laughs> She runs down that runway. <laughs> she walks down the runway in this like magenta 80s gown. Oh, with these like the stripes of the fabric really snatched her in just the right way. And it was like slinky and it was good. It was very 80s. This huge hair. I liked it. Yeah. Rue's looking good. Yeah. Rue, I, I don't think I've disliked any of her looks this season. No, I would say my least favorite was the palm tree in the windstorm, but even that was not bad. It was fun. Yeah. I know we're always asking for clueless references, 
But this just seemed lazy. Do you play any sports? No, my doctor doesn't want me doing any activities that involve balls flying at my face. <laughs> well, there goes your social life. Well, there goes yours. It was just so, like, there. I was like, yay, clueless. But also, you... Well, you just said the line. Okay, sure. Sure, exactly. <laughs> Even if Michelle had had, like, you know, the rhinoplasty um, thing as a, like, that was her look this week. Here you would have loved that. Loved that. And then it could have been like, hey, Michelle, did the doctor say you can't do anything where balls flying, you know, you know, like, or whatever? Yeah. Fine. You need to read. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that I think maybe my favorite part of the episode was Leslie oh. Jones. Yes. Girl, you better work! Leslie, are you recording this? Yeah, girl, that's how I do it at home. I live, tweet, live. <laughs> oh my God, bro, I can't believe I'm here. And she was just like such a bundle of energy. It was really fun and like earnestly excited. She was so excited, so fun. She brought so much energy. We'll talk about Untucked, obviously, but it was like, oh my God, like this is what it is like to have like an exciting person. <laughs> but I think in all honesty, it just points out how like kind of over it and jaded the current judges are. Yes, that's true. Where they're just kind of like, oh, here, we're going through the motions again because we've been doing this every two and a half months. So it's like someone who's excited to be there, she was living for it. Oh my gosh, <gasps> dramatic lighting. <gasps> oh my God, she said the words. Ah, I'm here, it's happening. Like she was losing her mind. I loved it. You made the best woman win. Ah, you just <laughs> did that in front of me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and this Diana Ross. Oh my God, she looked great. Sequin, I was like, yes. Yeah. Yes. When she was like, I'm 50 years old, I was like, what? Didn't you hear? That was what one of the queens said. Did they really? I don't know who it was, but someone was like, what? <laughs> I'm a, a 51 year old black woman. All right. Oh, yeah. Listen. What? It's called Lady Ballers Title. I wrote down Title Niners. I don't know if that's right. I think it's just Title Nine Realness or something. I think I did like, you know, 49ers. Oh, sure. And or you know, Niner, I'm on a walkie-talkie. Oh my god, Niner. <laughs> okay. Lady Baller. Is that a Niner in there? <laughs> what number did you call? Two, four, Niner, five, six, seven, eight. I can't hear you, you're trailing off. Oh. Were you calling from a walkie-talkie? Oh. No, it was cordless. <laughs> what is that from? I mean, it just disappeared, it was creepy. From Tommy Boy. Did I catch a Niner in there? Were you calling from a walkie-talkie? No, it was cordless. Mm -hmm. You've seen Tommy Boy, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. What? No, not really. Not really? Ah! What? Oh my God. Oh my God. I have to add it to your list right now. Where's my phone? Oh my God, Andrew. Okay. So category is Lady Ballers. First on the runway is Jackie Cox in this Amanda Bynes, she's the man lacrosse realness. And I was like, here for this reference. Was yes. she the man lacrosse? I thought it was soccer. I thought so too. But um, the wig was very, she's the man. Well, she was assigned lacrosse. So that's what she, she made it work. Don't know exactly how lacrosse is played, but I'm going to win it. I did like this and thought it was fun and, yeah. you know, was here for it. Yeah, it was a it was a strong start. I thought actually this whole category was pretty great. I agree. So then next is Nikki Dahl in this like bejeweled. She kind of looked like to me if Pink was doing the halftime show again at like the the yes. the, the, the um Super Bowl. Great. <laughs> oh girl. Love it. Great. But you know, it was like, ooh, it's football, but it's like rhinestones and whatever, and it's like yes. You know, like, very feminine, but also like short pink hair. And I was like, where's the aerial silks? That's all we need. Oh, yes. I did love that she was like, oh, I'm like the quarterback. Quarterback from the Lady Gaga planet, fully dripping in rhinestone. The only thing I'd say about this is it looked really similar to her first week runway. Fair, fair. It was, you know, black bodysuit with like a shoulder piece, short hair. Yes, this was not out of her wheelhouse. No, and I did think actually the bangs were like, just too long. I know that's really nitpicky, but it was like that with the crazy eyelashes, it didn't really work for me. It was too much. Yes, but she looked beautiful, but I was like, oh, I feel like I've already seen this. Oh, that's right, it was week one. So then next on the runway was Aiden Zane in this League of Their Own 1940s, actually almost looked 30s even, um, yes. baseball player realness. Loved this. Loved the idea, obviously, right? Like yeah. this is like movie bitches catnip. I thought the execution was a little weird. I thought the silhouette was like a little too long. Like, 
Well, that's why her own. It would have been a short little cute skirt and like kind of flouncier and whatever. This was like goth league of their own. Well, that's why I say 1930s because it was more demure. Sure. And the whole palette. I love that she painted herself sepia essentially. Like she sure. looks like she came out of a photograph. Uh huh. And this like nurse ratchet hair. I was like, yes. And then the like little hint to like a BDSM with like this weird harness thing that was like just just hinted at i was into it i didn't dislike it like the judges fucking loved it yeah and i was like i thought it was good and a cute though obvious like reference for baseball i guess i mean i'm not trying to overly defend her this was her best look but i think because it wasn't just a direct league of their own reference i actually liked it more sure like she did her own thing with it right. and it she was wasn't like just like oh i went down to party city and bought a rockford peach costume Exactly. And we've already seen that with, was it Robbie turned her, right? Yeah. It went downhill, but I was actually really here for this. Oh my God. So the next was Rockham. And at first I was like, oh no, Rockham, what's going on? What did you do? And then she pops this ball off of her head and starts swinging around. And I was dying. I Cackled, lost my mind. Living, lost my, I mean, my mind was like hers where it came out and then was swinging around my head. Well, because she, she she turns the corner and I go, what the hell sport is this? Exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> Tetherball. I fucking loved it. I think they didn't give her enough credit for how, like, sure, the outfit was like totally whatever, but it was such a surprise and so fun and fun. Like I was cackling and I thought they really should have given her more credit for like surprising them on the runway. I agree. It wasn't unpolished. It was just like, oh, that's a basic ass outfit. But then right. when you put it all together, it made sense. But if you are a tether pole, what are you supposed to wear? Exactly. It really made me laugh. Yeah, I fucking loved it. I lost my mind. And her makeup was beautiful. And they Beautiful. Did... The whole episode, just perfection. They didn't really give her enough credit for that either. No, I don't think so. Next on the runway is Jada as this WNBA player. And it was flawless. Flawless. I mean, aside from her dribble. Oh my God. Oh my God, it was so bad. <laughs> I was just like, oh, she really can't dribble. I mean, either can I, so I don't blame her. I mean, she just looked flawless. She looked flawless. She got the references. She, it was like, I thought this was really great. Yeah, next on the runway was Britta, no filter. In this baseball dress, it was like big sleeved within the red stitching, but then there was like big red and, and she black. The weird baseball thing out of her mouth. I don't know what the fuck she pulled out of her mouth. It was really weird. It wasn't even like baseball chewing gum. At least do that. Right. Well, so you're right. So maybe they didn't produce it. And maybe the queens all just knew, oh, I can't pick something basic like baseball. Or I'll try to do something interesting. Right. I'll try and do something different. I'll be a tether ball. I'll, I'll be fucking croquet and do a Heather's look. Like, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Love that tether ball. When she just popped it off her head and swung it around, I was like, yes, bitch. Ah, oh, give her the crown, honestly. <laughs> On top of the ball, yeah. <laughs> he loved it. Um, but yeah, Britta was in this baseball inspired. Like, she was the only one really that wasn't like, oh, and this is the uniform you wear for this sport. I mean, aside right. from Rockham, because there was no, you know, league of tetherballers. Um, well, so she was the tetherball pole. She, she so was the, the two of them pole. did like, yes, I am the ball. Right, but Britta's, I didn't like this at all. And the like yeah. dumpy knee high socks that didn't fit. Oh yeah, no, they were bad. It really should have just been a white dress with then the red stitching. Cause it was like red and black panels that it just distracted. I didn't like this. And I didn't really care for it, no. Next was Crystal Method in her bowling girl outfit. I love this. This was really cute and fun. I mean, I like bowling as a good choice. You know, there's yes. lots of options there, um, you know. Although, oh, if she had made a Kingpin reference. Oh, sure. Or a nod to Penny Marshall and a little L on her shirt for like, because they Oh, were... sure. Someone said it looked like Linda Belcher. I was like, yes. Yes, it definitely did. With these electric blue leggings and the whole, the whole thing. I just really thought this was so fun and cute and such a character. She has that ball and she throws it. It's bouncing around because it's made of styrofoam. I, I liked it. I thought this was a good one. Really and I like that she too also focused on her makeup. And she was like, okay, Michelle, I'll fucking show you. I'll do something different because that's what you fucking want to see. The whole thing's annoying to me. 
Well, sure. Michelle needs to calm the fuck down. I love that she even had like a sparkling pink bowling glove on. Like right. the details were there. Yes. The next on the runway was just Jay. <laughs> and I, I liked this a lot. I didn't like love this. This like soccer gladiator outfit. <laughs> it was like a little American gladiator does soccer or something. With this like deconstructed soccer ball, gladiator, shin guards, you know, I thought the wig was kind of a lot. I didn't know exactly what she was telling me. While at the same time it was impressive that she was like dribbling the ball with uh -huh. her high heels, I think it also sort of messed up her groove. Like I think she should have walked holding it and then at some point started kicking it. Hey, well, I don't know how good she still is at soccer. But like what would have been more fun would have been like to walk down the runway, right? Then do that like, you know how you can like kick it from one side to the, you know, like boop, boop, boop. With your knees? Or yeah, with either with your knees or like your calf or what, however they do it. It's like hacky sack with a soccer ball. Yeah, but I think that's much harder in heels. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, with the heels, if you do it on your knees, you'd have to raise your knees much higher because you have like the heel. Sure. And then if you're doing it with your calves, you're having to balance on one heel back and that's forth. That's true. You have to like land on a heel and like, pachow, pachow. Yeah, that's probably harder. So the next was Heidi Ho, Slayana. Heidi Slayana? Slayana Heidi Ho? I don't know. We haven't landed on, on a name yet. I mean, I still really like Slayana, but it seems like they're forcing Heidi Ho upon her. I mean, Rue literally said, I am never calling her Heidi in closet ever again. I'm just making that clear. Just so you know. Yeah. I will never say Heidi in closet ever again. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. She comes out with golf realness, and I loved this. I thought it was really oh, fun. yeah. This, like, country club, argyle sweater vest. I was very cute. I was into it. It was. I thought this was super fun and cute. I really liked it. The visor and the... I, I, I was into it. Oh, and next on the runway is Sherry in this Matilda, Mrs. Trunchbull realness. You know, I mean, it looked good. It's really hard. It's really hard. It's hard. I mean, I saw it and I was like, oh, it's Matilda. And right. yet I wasn't like, yes, I love this. Oh my God. And now I don't know if that's because I'm just tainted. Right. Or she's tainted it. Or she's tainted or whatever. Let me say taint I mean, some more. But taint. Taint. <laughs> taint. Balls. Balls. Taint. Ball, um, ball taint. <laughs> she tainted this ball a lot. Great. Yeah. Maybe if she'd had like a wart, because her face was still just very much, you know, what she usually does and not all, you know, doesn't she have like a horrible mole and like yes. a unibrow and stuff? I don't know. Maybe if she'd done that. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I honestly don't know. I should have loved this look and instead I was just kind of like, no, nah, it didn't really work for me, but I got where you were going. It was well made. You know, it was a different idea. Yes. So the next is the widow. I decided I'm just calling her the widow. Okay, I like that. I kept, try I kept forgetting Widow Von Du. I was like, what? The, the... And then it, I was like, oh, The Widow. And I was like, ooh, I kind of like that. The Widow. Next is The Widow, and I don't remember what her, her sport was. Oh, I thought... Oh, I do, I do, I do. I remember, okay. I remember, I remember. I thought since you just took the reins ah! that you knew. <laughs> oh, you name me. <laughs> that was as bad as Ross. Yeah, it was. Shut up! Shut up, Ross. <laughs> Shut up, Ross. Dahlia Sorry, it's just a reflex. <laughs> so the next was the widow in this equestrian realness. Yeah, it was like this kind of fox hunting, all velvet. This was almost there for me. Yes. She kept talking about polo, and I was like, that's not what they wear for polo. No. Like, this is like a horse. More fox hunting. Fox hunting, you know, fancy party. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm. I don't actually ride the horse, but I get dressed up to stand next to it, that kind of thing. Yes. My biggest problem with it, it seemed like the same silhouette as last week, the clown. Ish, yes. With like the long kind of sides and the shape, and it just seems kind of too similar for me. And I think that while the little pony on a stick was amusing, I think ha if she had a, had a riding crop, it would have been, it would have elevated it to be more like, yes. It was too small. It was something. very small. It was because it's made for children. So like, yes. it just... It didn't work. And I was like, I understand where you were going, but like, yeah. no. She, she needed like a riding crop and like some spurs. And a big horse bit. Maybe, oh, a big, oh, a ball gag. Yes, it was no, like a horse bit. Like if she came out as like a horse bit as a, a ball gag, like. Ah. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. yes. 
and then a fucking whip and there's like hat. is she the horse or the rider if they have a horse ride the widow yeah i would have liked that i would have liked that a lot Ooh, what if she had had a tiny riding hat but then it had a veil because she's in mourning for the husband that she murdered but she's still getting her daily ride in sure <laughs> very dynasty yes thank you yes you just, like went into my head and like just extrapolated it <laughs> yeah. yes so then last on the runway Gigi good in this heather's croquet realness and fuck yes i fucking love this it was great i like that she did something a little different with it the palette was muted for the 80s in the movie it's so like red yellow great you know it's very vibrant and so this was like a sort of muted version updated more fashionable version of that which is good it yeah. wasn't just like oh i recreated the costume that's like if someone were to wear Cher's exact outfit from clueless like the yes. yellow whatever like you wouldn't want to do exactly that but yeah, you can you reference do- it and i thought she did a really good job with heather's where it was like oh immediately i get it it's heather's you got the croquet yes. it was great you had the um, huge scrunchie in Oh my god. I love that Rue was just like, who the fuck is Heather? Who the hell's Heather? Who the fuck is Heather? I don't want to know. <laughs> so quick commercial break and we will be back with basketball wife realness. <laughs> so category is basketball wives realness. And first up is Jackie Cox in this confusing white weird. She does like a decade. She do, she do like, you asked for it. You wanted her to do a decade of, of episode. This is true. I'm regretting my request slightly. This was weird. It didn't really read for me. It was, it was like the 70s. It looked like Boogie Nights or something. Uh-huh. It didn't look like Basketball Wife to me. It didn't look expensive. No. But her tits seemed a little cockeyed, I'll be honest. <laughs> They were just a bit askew. But what really what sent me over the edge was this was, so it's like these netted white pants and the underwear was so big and granny panty. <laughs> Either do like a bicycle short, not a bicycle, but like a, like a booty short. Right. Or a thong. I feel like there's no in between if you're like showing it off. But yeah, I don't know what this was. This was like some weird, I'm at Studio 54 doing Coke, Boogie Nights, Basketball wife? Next on the runway was Nikki Doll, and I also thought this didn't really fulfill the brief. It wasn't bad. She's like, "Oh, I'm like, I look like I'm ready to go to Paris Fashion Week," and I was like, "Well, that wasn't that wasn't really the the assignment, but okay." I guess basketball wives go to Paris Fashion Week too. The Kardashians, they're sure. basketball wives, or they were, or once at, at times were. Was Kim not married to a basketball person at some before point? Kanye? I think maybe. So anyway, um, but this wasn't that either. No, not really. You know, it was a little muddied for me. Was, she's got a beret and she has this like red feathery boa with then these textured tights. It was like a lot of things. I didn't dislike it necessarily. It just did not quite fit the brief for me. So then next is Aiden Zane. And I also, well, she had a story in her head. This is what I'll say. It was very born yesterday, nouveau riche. We were from the trailer park and now suddenly we're very rich and I don't know what to do, but I'm tacky. Right. Like it told me something. It was also not great. The problem is I don't know how much it told me. When she told us what she wanted it to tell us, Yes. then I guess I was like, oh, I guess I could see that. When she turned the corner, I was like, oh. Oh, interesting. I was like, born yesterday, tacky, you know, Baltimore. Like, oh, I've recently become rich and I don't really know what I'm doing with my money person. Okay, well, you got it then. It had a concept. It wasn't particularly perfectly told or et cetera, et cetera. It still looked like just a dress. Yes. I think think that's going to be her biggest struggle is elevating her fashion and her looks. Because she does seem to have concepts and ideas yeah. that are fun often. But when it's like, ooh, but then the execution, not great. Well, and she keeps kind of saying like, oh, my drag is really simple and I like to keep it simple. And I'm like, well, there's a difference between keeping it simple and being simple. Yes, that's true. You can so, have something that's simple, but really well polished and tailored and, and specific. Yes. And you can have something that's just kind of basic. But I still like her. Absolutely, absolutely. Next on the runway is Rockham in this, you know, golden Kardashian look. Yes. I mean, she looked fucking gorgeous. I guess they were like reading her for her crazy ass, but that was, was the like, point. You were going for, I mean, I guess it was a little squared off, but I was like, well, you were going for the Kardashian thing. I get it. Right. I guess I didn't really quite see this, the squariness. I didn't see it personally. 
but right. I'm sure they have a better view, et cetera. But I thought that the idea was there and like the padding obviously was necessary to like give it that Kardashian-ness. Yeah, yeah, I understood it. And I was like, oh, you look like a golden goddess basketball wife. Yes. Yeah. I will say I did not like that you could see the bottom of her breastplate. I seem to be the only person that really complains about this all the time, but like what what, what Which is that? weird. It's funny, I didn't notice it. And then when I was going back through the viewing party to sync up ours, uh -huh. I heard you say it. And it was literally right you said it right after I saw it. And I was like, Oh gosh, I missed that her breastplate was and you're like, I don't like that I can see her breastplate. And I was like, That's Great. Next was Jada, and I thought this was stunning. She looked gorgeous in this burgundy red, I would say. I was like, ooh, it's like a Merlot. Ooh. Sure. But well, I loved that she was just like, basketball wife is about confidence. A you know, basketball wife is just about a feel that you give. Like, when you see a woman and she just looks pulled together, that's a basketball wife. Yes. You are serving all of that. I'm here with you. I believe that. I mean, look, my man do not play basketball, and I'm a basketball wife. My man doesn't play basketball, but I am a basketball wife. <laughs> oh, and this wig. Oh. It was great. Yeah. She looked f fabulous. Oh, boy. So then to go in a completely different direction, next down the runway was Britta. Uh, yikes. This was the Nooners to me. When she was like, oh, it's a take on Kim Kardashian's Met Gala look from the, she was trying to dress like the asshole from the campy Met Gala. Wait, that's what she was going for? Oh. Yeah. This is a take on Kim Kardashian's Mugler dress that she wore at the Met Gala. I mean, I look expensive too. It was tragic, but that is what it was. <laughs> Andrew, this yellow latex banana asshole. This was so bad. I'm sorry, but this was so bad. It was and bad. When she was like, oh, I was referencing this thing. And I was like, what? Next is Crystal Method. And I like this a lot, actually. When Rue said, oh, it's more like Paris Ramada, I re that really got me. Actually, it's Paris Ramada. Yes, it did me too. It was a good one. So every now and then, there's great lines. And that was one of them where I was like, that told me everything I need to know. And it's true. It's basically like, you're not going to really know what this means, but it's basically like old seasons of Mystery Science Theater versus the Netflix seasons, where in the old seasons, they said just enough things over the movie, but then left, you know, enough pausing and spacing. So you were like, what is this? And you're actually watching the movie, but also they're commenting over it. Sure. And where the new Netflix one, it's just like wall to wall, like comment, 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 comment. And you're like, ah! This is how it feels like old seasons of, of Drag Race. It's like, oh, we just put the best lines in there. And now mm. it's just like, joke, 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 Ross. Ross is talking, Ross is talking, Ross is talking, Ross is talking. Joke. I agree. That's very, that's a good, that's a good analogy. So anyway, Crystal Method. Yes. This was fun. I mean, it was like Paris Hilton, you know, after the mental break. I mean, because she looked crazy. Sure. I don't think Paris Hilton actually had like a breakdown, but you know. She didn't have like a Britney Spears breakdown. Right. It was Paris Hilton via Britney Spears 2007 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Fleshy, like, latex dress and this wig that's down to her butt. She's, oh, I wanted to have the longest hair possible. I wanted to have the longest hair. I'm making sure to fling it as much as I can because my husband bought it for me. Because my husband bought it for me, after all. <laughs> she just had a lot of fun and energy, and she really sold this one to me. Yes, I agree. She had a good kind of presence about it. So then next on the runway is Jan. Oh, it's very good Jan. So at first this turned the corner and I thought, oh, this is way too simple. But then I thought about it and I was like, oh, like, of course a basketball wife would be like, let me rhinestone myself head to toe in a tracksuit, like so I can be right. comfortable and yet expansive. <laughs> right, well, it's kind of like a juicy couture suit. Yes. But like to the next level, that idea. I mean, when she posted that this was worth she didn't say that she paid that much, but it was worth $15,000. And I don't know what that means entirely, but still $15,000. Were they Swarovski crystals that they made this tracksuit out of? Perhaps. Either way, for me, I didn't see the value, but also I don't know if like the rhinestones really, the crystals came through. Maybe if it had been a more exciting color. Sure. Or if she had had something written on her ass. Oh, sure. Like juicy. But I like mean, instead it was like Jan. Just the A and then like the center of the A is around her asshole and then Yeah. Yes. Yes, obviously, yes. Or maybe have the back um have her name or something like you know, like, like a, jersey. a jersey. 
That'd be cute. This was a different take than everyone else's, and it told me a very specific story that I think is very accurate. Whether or not it's worth that in real life, like, dear God, no, I would never pay right. anywhere near that kind of money for a tracksuit. And also the disparity of, like, people that can afford that versus people that can't, that are participants on the show, whatever. It told me a story. Yes. So then next is Heidi Ho in this kind of white, like, uh, what's, what's so funny? You're laughing at Heidi Ho. Yes, I'm laughing at Heidi Ho. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What I say? Is there like a Snow White hi ho reference? Yodelay hee hoo hi ho. I don't know. It's gone too far. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. I don't know. Something like that. That'd be silly. Yeah, this was. Um, if you squinted, it was it was pretty good. She's got big sunglasses and a band-aid dress. Yeah. But then when you started to look at the details, like her makeup was pretty whack. And this wig was like very flat and bluntly just like, like it was out of the bag kind of. She gave me the attitude. Sure. It like, had to really kind of go, yeah, girl, I see you. <laughs> so then next on the runway was Sherry Pie. And I thought this also missed the assignment. It was like old Reno slot lady, you know, yes. like slot machine lady, not basketball wife. It was definitely giving me like kind of Vegas hooker. I was putting it into Reno. That's how like kind of like blue it was. Never go to Reno girls. And the money gun and the hat and the... Right. Bejeweled, yeah. Like, she was making it rain. The like bejeweled basketball bra. I didn't... I didn't get it. It, it didn't work for me for this category. Exactly. I remember the first ones and the last ones. The middle ones, I don't know. They're just a blur. Well, this middle category was a waste of time, but... It was. <laughs> so then next is The Widow, and um, this was a thing. <laughs> I lost my mind. There's too many looks. <laughs> too many looks. Too many cooks. Too many looks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. I've gone insane. I've crossed over. Okay, yes, widow, Vaughn, don't. I didn't care for this. It was a no. <laughs> <laughs> it was just these billowy sleeves. They were so big. Like, they were so big. They swallowed her up and then with these like lacy pants. And again, the really low heels. The she low heels. Her shoe game, really. I mean, Leslie Jones told her the truth. Oh my God, I did not like this. So then last is Gigi Good. And I actually really like this a lot. I thought she looked flawless. Oh, it was so good. I mean, this like snake skin, perfectly tailored trench coat yeah. with then this black satin cravat. Did you see that? It was like a tie. Oh, almost. I don't think I did. Oh, and the hair. Yeah. And once she started to tell the story of like, oh, I'm recently divorced and I'm spending all of his money while I still can. I was like, yeah, I get it. Yes. He's still a Sneffler. Yes. Oh, exactly. Hello. I loved it. Oh my God. He's like Nostradamus. So quick commercial break and we will be back with balls to the wall extravaganza. <laughs> So the final category is balls to the walls and lick ganza. Wait, what balls to the walls? Wall. wall. Windows to the wall. I think it's just the wall. Well, anyway, this is the unconventional materials challenge. What did you yeah. call it earlier? The conventional <laughs> The unconventional challenge material. <laughs> this is the unconventional challenge material. And first down the runway is Jackie Cox. Yeah. And oh my God, burn this coat. Dear God, why did she make this ugly? shapeless like it looks like she deflated like a beach ball it just, I, what was this and she never took it off like right. on the runway. like later in untucked she took it off i was like oh i can oh. actually see that you like made a dress i was so confused by this fucking coat she needed christian siriano to be in there and be like no give her the coat it's a mistake you don't need it although maybe she did that was her only unconventional material i don't know no because she had all the soccer balls to, i mean well i guess like maybe the dress was just fabric and then she had like soccer balls on the asymmetrical yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if so, then she failed the assignment. Again, I guess she went for the 70s this week. God, I really am Nostradamus. Um, she says, oh, I'm like a disco queen. I didn't really get this. It was okay. 1960s future, also disco woman. So the next was Nikki Doll. And I actually really liked this, but it was basically just balls glued to a corset, you know, stringing off of her. Yes, it was very elevated. I liked the peignets. 
You know, yes. that good body, yaddy, yaddy, and like whatever, like a good silhouette. But yes, I mean, this was basically just Evie Oddly's jellyfish flower dress, which was good. I was, I was here for it. So then next on the runway is Aiden Zane in this BDSM dominatrix footlocker worker. It was definitely very footlocker referee, but like, whoa. I mean, and I, you know, thanks to Jan, she leaned into that at least. This was just so basic to me where it was literally just like, oh, here's this corset that I put black and white striped balls on. Yeah. And then I have little dangle balls from, you know, my skirt. It wasn't a skirt. It was, it was a few beaded curtain pom-poms that were attached to a corset. To the corset. And then she had like short shorts on or something. And that was- No, it was ugly granny panties, just like Jackie's. That's right. That's right. And that was why, I, the, the, that was a part of the biggest thing for me where I was like, but what if she'd had like, um, even if it was just like tool, like white tool with the black balls or some sort of thing where it was like, oh, it's more of a gown. Well, but- okay. Here's my fixes. I have multiple fixes. Okay, great. One, you make yourself a sick pair of latex black cigarette pants. I don't know if it. she can do that, but sure. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying what would have improved it. Okay. Right? So you got this black and white up top and then like a skinny pant on the bottom. Yeah. 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 Or because she keeps kind of talking about how she was trying to go for Betty Page and like, yeah, get get it with the wig or whatever. Then give me some garter belts and some tights and a whip and all of the above and like some really do it up. Yeah, I like that. Referee dominatrix. Then like lean into it. Yes. She didn't have a point of view was the problem. No. She well, didn't and, really and, know what she was setting out to do. She was just like, I'm going to glue black and white balls together. Oh, great. Look, it looks like a referee. Sure. Yeah, this was um, under underdone. So then next is Rockham in this, I don't know. I didn't dislike it as much as the judges did. I do agree. It's this like explosion of balls, right? It looked like a tragic gumball explosion happened. Absolutely. Or like if she was tart and feathered, but instead of feathers, it was gumballs. Ooh, what if there was actually a tragic gumball explosion and she had like found a way to have like shards of glass coming out of too much? A a little too much. But I do like the idea if she were to more personify a gumball machine. Yeah, that could be fun. The problem for me was I think that she overdid it, particularly in the silhouette. It got muddied. And I think that they were Right. right if she had done a shorter hem, it might have been better. Well, this open hoop skirt, hoop skirts have to be perfectly balanced, you know, or else they look wackadack. So this like off kilter hoop skirt was like, you know, this isn't really working. So she definitely could have done something else, but that also gave it like more of an impact than just kind of... A basic, here's more balls glued to me. Yeah, I don't know. It was memorable and fun. Sure. Like the colors, like I was like, oh, this is fun. And her makeup was really interesting and cool. All these sort of like filigree things all over her face. I didn't like it particularly, but I was like, oh, that's fun. I didn't particularly care for it either, but it was more interesting than a lot of the other stuff we'd seen. Next on the runway is Jada. And oh my God, this like bubble bath elegant. This was a phenomenal. Talk about eleganza. Oh my, I mean. (sighs) She looked gorgeous, (laughs) flooding. Flooding and stallless. I thought you were trying to say like flooding my basement with her bubble bath or something. No, I said I meant stunning and flawless. Really lost our minds. Lost my mind. Isolation is getting to us. Well, isolation and 36 goddamn looks. I got cabin fever! I've got the two Anyway, no, I thought she looked absolutely gorgeous. All of these little white balls and the, the shape, and she did it in like a beautiful line. Yes. And she really made it work. I thought it was flawless. And well, so- and this updo with the- with this, the I'm sorry, what? This updo. 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 This golden wrap around her head. And she made herself a little loofah, a little yeah. bubble ball loofah. Yeah. And I was like, yes, these are the details I'm looking for. Well, this is also kind of, for me, like an interpretation of sponge soap realness. This is what the sponge dress should have been. A little bit. I mean, and then, you, then you're then you holding a sponge because you made all the suds. Done. Great. Like, yeah. You're the suds. Yes. Love it. This was very like 1940s advertising. I'm selling you a bubble bath. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Feel cigarettes. Chesterfield. Most doctors recommend Chesterfield. Chesterfield cigarettes. <laughs> oh boy so then next is Britta no filter well she needed a filter for this one because yikes this was a mess 
Oh, this was so bad. I'm confused. She started off and she was like, I could go for a pineapple. What does that have to do with balls? Well, um, it doesn't. Um, So she had that big ball thing. It was basically a yellow version of what Jan ended up making her skirt out of. And she literally looked like a pineapple, you know, in this giant thing. And I was like, oh, is she just going to use that? And then she started to deflate it. And I was like, oh no, what are you doing? But basically what happened was like, they were like, oh, you look like a pineapple. And she's like, what? I'm like a pineapple princess. I'll do that. And it was like, oh no, girl, that wasn't, oh no. She didn't have any balls to speak of. What and what does that have to do with balls? None of it makes any sense then. And then it was like green and then yellow and then more green. And so she really messed up like the pineappleness of it. The green was in the middle. And actually the green texture looked like the pineapple texture, but it was the wrong green. color. Yeah. Well, also just don't do this. I mean, how are you going to try and top Manila? Manila. Did you see that thing that was like, actually Britta posted it. And I was like, that's funny. It was like when you order online and it was like Manila looking <laughs> fabulous and then it was like when it arrives and it was her i love it no i mean this looked like she was in spongebob and squarepants the musical or something it was not good <laughs> i like these at squarepants like moira rose spongebob who is this spongebob squarepants but no this was an absolute disaster and again she put crap on her shoes you I, you really like don't like that and i don't care for it either i i i just don't understand why she keeps crapping up these shoes it makes her look like she's wearing clogs it does it's like, she- it's like miss piggy shoes <laughs> It's just so, it, the, the proportions get so thrown off. So then next down the runway, Crystal Method in this Carmen Miranda, like, ball pit explosion extravaganza. And I was here for it. I was super here for it. It wasn't entirely 100% successful. But no. it was successful enough for me. And, like, the references of, like, Carmen Miranda and she was serving. The, the Especially the top half, I was really loving. Yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was really fun. The concept was there. Her face looked great. Like, yeah head up it was like really good and then the bottom half was like oh that's so it looks like a little bit of a tube dress okay oh boy so then next was just jan and i was just confused by this i mean i guess it was it, it was obviously like soccer ball reference and whatever but like this was not eleganza it was more like martian you know space eleganza balls it was, this looked like um the female version of hades from hercules or something kind it, of it was giving me like weird goddess demon lady. Sure. <laughs> or something. The skirt needed to be shorter. Uh huh. Because it was so voluminous, voluptuous, that it was just long enough that it, it shrunk her. And then to have this kind of bra with then these huge sleeves, she did something different. It was a different silhouette. It wasn't totally successful, but it was like, oh, I remembered that. You remembered it. I did remember it. That's true. Oh boy. So the next on the runway is Heidi Ho. What was this? Uh, Heidi who was this? Oh, is there like a... Um, Heidi who was this? I like that. Is there like a Heidi who? Betty who? Ho? Okay. I went more Cindy Lou who. Right. We can do I'm that Heidi too. Heidi who, but you I'm know. Kind of like Heidi who. Yeah, Heidi who. Also high concept, but like so fucking confused. Oh boy, this... Uh, this like alien mariachi roller derby thunderdome uh, Tin Man Hershey Kiss ballerina Hershey. garbage newspaper oh this post apocalyptic you know my- <laughs> Donatello <laughs> Ninja Turtles crucified thorn of crowns thorn of crowns wow crown of thorn it was there was it was it was a lot of things i think you've said it all <laughs> i will say this Yes. It didn't look poorly constructed. The like chaps and stuff fit really nice. And I actually thought that the purple armor thing had structure and looked neat. Sure. Like, li- sure, sure. like literally straight, not like neato. I- I'm not I'm not sure what this was. I would like an explanation of this. I don't know if you're ever gonna get one. I don't know if it exists. So next is Sherry Pie, and now she made this, so it's not a designer, but I still feel like we should talk about it because I was so confused. Where are the balls? Just because you <laughs> Dress like the swamp thing and put three little moss balls on you. It's not a ball look make. What's happening? I didn't get this at all. It was so boring. It was basically, she took a, a petticoat and a corset and spray painted them and then glued some moss on it. I was so confused by this. <laughs> it was a no. 
Yeah, nope, this did not work. Oh my God. So then next on the runway was Widow Von Du. I really liked this. I really dug the palette of this. This the way that all the colors mingled together. This was giving me some, remember that Raquel Welsh, all the signs of the Aquarius. The dawning of the age of Aquarius. Of Aquarius on that like Mayan temple. This yes. was very that for me. Yes. With this like hooped um, skirt that, I mean, that this looked really well done. Like this was like all even and it, it hung properly and all of that. I agree. The ponytail within the matching kind of headpiece. I really like this. I mean, burn those shoes. Oh, well burn the shoes. Oh my God. <laughs> but um, this really had an impact and I thought was really cool. Well, I guess now she'll just like frame the shoes and never ever wear them again, but yes. Oh yes. So then last was Gigi Good, and I I mean loved this. She had these little like wicker balls of different colors. Or like yarny kind of looking. They were like it wasn't yarn, it was like wood, it almost seemed like. No, they weren't actually yarn, but they looked like, you know, They did look ball. like little yarn balls. It kind of reminded me of that Naomi Smalls look yes. with the cats. I mean, she balled her undies. Yes, that in certain perspectives, I was like, oh no. And then others, I was like, oh, that's cute. Like when she oh, looked no, you... up and you saw the whole undies, I was like, cute. When you saw just little balls peeking out, it was like, not cute. It's like, oh no, you fruit looped your pussy. <laughs> Too far? <laughs> Too far? Do we just stop here? <laughs> yeah, <that's> the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, but no, I thought this was really good, though. Yes, and that little hat and the way all of it, it all went together. She was the only one that, like, made clothes. That, yes. Like, you know, <laughs> successfully sewed a, a garment. Yes. It was very good. I liked it a lot. So, Gigi wins. Yes. I think rightfully so. I thought Jada was like right Very there. close. It was like, ooh, bitch, I don't know. It was close. It could have been either of them. It was very close. And then I don't know who I necessarily would have put up there. I didn't think Nikki was top for me. Safe. But I don't know who else necessarily I would have put up there. I mean, I did not care for Widow's first two looks, but I loved her third look. Sure. And I mean, Rockham made me laugh so hard that I cried because she had a tether ball attached to her head. <laughs> so maybe just put her in the top. Well, no, instead they put her in the bottom. <sighs> yeah, so Britta and Rockham are in the bottom. I don't I know. I would have put Aiden in the bottom. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would have too. I mean, I still even would have kept, you can keep Rockham in the bottom three, but I would have put mm -hmm. Aiden and Britta in the bottom two. Person. Yeah, but no, Rockham and Britta lip sync to S and M by Rihanna. Slayana. S, S, S and M M M. And this lip sync was weird. So Britta had all the lyrics down, you know, yeah. really good. Yeah. And Rockham really got messed up with her skirt trying to pull it off. That was what really and bummed me out was that she knew that she was going to be lip syncing. I was like, cut it off and untucked. Exactly. I would have been fucking prepared to just either cut it off and come out without it or have it be like barely attached so that I could be like, cool, boop, boop, I'm out. Because if you're gonna do the splits, you can't with a hoop skirt. So. No. Well, she just got so bogged down with it, you know, yeah. and then it took so long and then she was out of her head and she was just like, ah. I did think she kind of came back from it. Yes. I mean, she was, you know, for Leslie, she was like, rip it, girl, tear it, get it off of her. I mean, she was, and she, and when Leslie gave her that little pep talk, like, girl, got this, you got this, come on, girl, like, come on. She did the splits, she did those slow splits. Yeah. She was doing a lot of things that I thought she recovered eventually. Yes. And then when Britta tore her skirt off, that was a mess. And then what did Leslie say? She was like, way to leave it on the runway. Oh, literally. Right, literally. <laughs> it was everywhere. Yeah, it wasn't a great lip sync. It was very messy, literally. Again, I mean, obviously I didn't want Rockham to go, but like I right. could let both of them go. I but I just didn't pull it this week. And I just don't know if I like her taste. No, I didn't really like any of her looks. She didn't like bowl me over with this. Like I wasn't like, oh bitch, this is what I've been waiting for. No, this is the lip sync I needed. Fine, Rockham, sorry, you gotta go because Britta killed you in this, it wasn't that. No, but Rockham goes home. She's very upset. I was upset. I'm just bummed. You know, she seems so fun and, and energetic and sweet, but I think she just wasn't ready. She didn't have the confidence. She was so uh, in her head about, you know, yeah. making everyone at home proud and doing all that. And it's like, you gotta be doing it for you. So 
We'll see. Like, I would love to see Rockham in in All Stars. Yeah. Well, yeah. She wasn't quite ready, but she was so memorable and so unique and fun. Yeah. And I think had they given her a little more praise and kudos for the things that she did do, that could have helped her yeah. be more ready. Yeah, I think it would have been a really nice narrative to see her grow in her confidence and her self-love over the course of a season. Hello. Hey. Hello. I'm really going to miss Rockham. I love her. Yeah. So this week on Untucked, it's basically just Leslie Jones. Oh my God. Before um, they all come back, I did love that no one knew Crystal was in the room. They're like, well, Crystal's out there. Guys, I'm right I'm here. Right here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Yes. It's because I'm so fish today. I'm so fish this week. Oh my God, so silly. I loved how she was just feeling her fishy self. She was really living for the different makeup. I love her. I really like Crystal. She's so fun. Yes. Yeah, and then they just complain about Aiden for like 10 to 15 minutes. And I was like, I don't care. They were so rude to her. I just think I, it's unnecessary. Yes, I was just like, you deal with yourself. I've yeah. had I've had enough of this. <laughs> well, and, and there's just so much judgment of like, oh, I think I'm above you and I'm better than you. And especially yeah. at Britta, it seems like mostly Britta and Sherry, and maybe that's because of last week's challenge, but right. Britta and Aiden seem to really just clash. And it seems like because Britta just has zero respect for her. Oh my God, but did you notice that Heidi was wearing little bunny slippers in Untucked? No, I missed them. It was really cute. I'll have to look next time. Hopefully she'll wear them again. Yeah, like hopefully it'll be like uh, Trinity's cheetah robe. Exactly. Leslie comes back and it's just, uh, just, uh, I love her. You know, you have to know that I think that drag queens are angels from heaven. Love her. She's so much fun. Now yeah. it is interesting. There's like all of this weird post drama of her and Britta. Yeah, it was unavailable for us to watch. But yes. apparently Leslie Jones, via her live tweeting, was like ragging on Britta and saying like, oh, in real life she sucks or something. And then, right, or, or like, I didn't really like her that much, but they, they really, in the editing, they made her look better than she really was and whatever else. And right. Well, and then Britta clapped back and was like, you suck. I don't know. They had a, on a Twitter fight and I didn't really care. I didn't really either. Mm -mm. But Leslie is just so positive and amazing. I love that she just went to Aiden and was just like, what is up? And what's going on? Like, are, are these queens, are y'all giving her problems? Are y'all... What yes. is going on? What is up yes. with you? She could really read the room and like tell. Maybe that's from her like improv yeah. you know, training and stuff where you have to be able to bounce off of someone's energy. I love Aiden was obviously trying to be like, I, whatever, I'm fine. Don't like whatever. And Leslie was like, connect with me. What is happening? Exactly. No, let's talk about Break it. Break it down. Yeah. Oh, I'm from a small town. I don't have the da 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 da. That doesn't fucking matter. None of that shit matters. <laughs> I'm from Compton. You think I was supposed to be Leslie Jones? What the fuck are you talking about? It Fucking doesn't matter. And I was like, yes! Loved it. Do you think that I, I'm supposed to be Leslie Jones? You are. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a, a 51 year old black woman. All right. Oh, yeah. Listen. What? What? I had no idea. And then she calls out Nikki and is like, what's up with you? Why aren't you showing us your funny side? Where's the kookiness? Where's the craziness? Because we don't see it. And I heard you lost the improv thing last week. And then we get widow's shoes oh my god this is cracking me up oh my god this was so funny i love that just like no never again these are terrible i hate them no, when i've worn the same black pumps and but i got red for wearing the same black pumps fuck all that though you should have worn them before them motherfuckers she signs them i hate these shoes i loved it hilarious the same shoes is better than ugly shoes <laughs> Same shoes is better than ugly shoes. Because Widow has been wearing those little kitty cat heels every episode. So every episode. It's like different ones, I guess, but like either way. Yes. She, she has more than one pair. She just really like infused a lot of energy. I mean, I actually enjoyed watching this untucked. And when she was just like, when you are out there lip syncing, I want you to imagine I'm holding a million dollar check for you. Like what? Like do this. Lip sync for your motherfucking life. And I was like, yes! Yeah. I mean, the editors must have had a, just a nightmare of a time cutting it because she was just constantly like, oh my God, the red one, yes, yes, ah! You know, just like talking over everything. So then we have Rockham leaving, you know, and, and lots of crying, which was sad. She'll have another chance, I'm sure. It was extra sad because she was just like, I, I just really wanted to be here. Like, I don't want to go yet. She wanted more time. I wanted more time for her too. She's yeah. a star. I love her. Oh my God, I love that her farewell line was, Every time you fart, that's just me saying, I love you. I love it. Anyway, I think America loved her as well, even though the judges seemed to sleep on her. 
I well, you know. That was this week. I I feel insane. Um, a little bit. I hope that. Well, okay. First of all, we haven't talked about next week is Gay's Anatomy. Oh my god. It's weird. It's like officially weird. But anyway, I'm excited. We'll see how it goes. I hope that there's only one look to talk about because I cannot with 36. It was just too much. Uh, far, far too much. Far, my brain is just like mush. But anyway, cheers to next week. I hope you're joining us for our viewing parties. We really yeah. appreciate all the comments and the feedback. We're trying to figure out how to do it separately. And we'll see you next week. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.